So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? What's next? Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. Fine, I get it. How much? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down our necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. Kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here. It's been like two weeks. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought that was invite. Yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive below. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? To be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Yeah, we read you, everything okay? Over. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! As you're quick. And don't touch anything. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels? Not my scene, you know? So can we just get the fuck out then? the deal with this place? Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Why would they be chained and locked? That kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Now, technically. Stop! Stop! Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy? Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. What the hell is this place?
it abandoned? Hello? Alex, Julia, are you guys here? Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Do 
down. Easy. 